you ready for the word? Lord, amen, praise God. I, I, I begin, amen, I preached this a couple of weeks ago, maybe last month, I don't know. But God took me back to it and said, he wasn't done with that. Amen, come with me to Romans chapter 8. Hallelujah. Good to see you out this morning. I'm excited about this new thing. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Lord is doing a new thing. He really is, y'all. And I'm excited about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Amen. Let's read it together. And we know that all things work together for good. For to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and hearers and doers of God's word and all God's children say amen. 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 You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God took me back to this scripture. Amen. Praise God. Because he says, son, you hit... You hit some key things, but you didn't hit one of the main things in this verse right here. He said, all things work together for the good for them that love God. And we understood, we dealt with the love. Let me see if y'all still remember. We dealt with the love, amen, and who is love, amen. Y'all come on, y'all work with me because I got to get somewhere, all right? So I need y'all to work with me. Come on, somebody. Who is love? And what is the love of God if we what? Keep his commandments. So we, and faith must, love, faith must be worked by what? Love. So we found out all that, and we found out that the call on your life is not for your purpose, it's for his purpose, God's purpose, somebody say something. So the call on your life is not for your purpose, it's for to fulfill his purpose. So the call on your life is according to his purpose. Come on, somebody. But the beginning of that verse says, all things work together for good to them that love God. That does not apply to everybody. Come on, somebody. Because you have to love God for all things to work together for good. Because something might happen to you, brother, and then some, you did something, something, something adds up to all things. Come on, somebody. What that means is when God said, when you love me, something that happened, there's something, 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 something is not all things, but some things equal up to all things. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. But when you love God, something, something, that, that might be something bad, something good, something bad, something good, but when you put it all together, Amen. he said it works together. All things work together. So something bad, something good, something bad, something good, something over there, something there, something there. Mix it all up and it's all good. Come on, somebody. If you love God. Come on, somebody. Now, the Lord showed me, he said, son, he said, this is what I want the people to understand. Because this is a very important scripture if we apply it to our life. Because I couldn't understand some of the things that happened in my own personal life. So I say, man. But God always would show me this scripture. He said, all things work together for good. And God said, the word you missed was good. Good, pleasant, agreeable, useful, excellent. It's pleasant to God, uprightly or honorable. God said, he said, son, you left that word out. I'll tell my people that what's not good to you is good for you. He said, what's not good to you is 
is good for you. Amen. Because good is not good unless it's God. If it's good, don't necessarily mean that it's God. Come on, somebody. But if it's God, no, oh, come on, somebody. It's good. No matter if it's a bad thing. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all better help me. Come on. If it's God, come on, somebody. And if it's bad, to tell you it's good for you. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all better help me. Y'all better help me. And there's a lot of things that go on in your life is not good to you. Come on, somebody. And you wonder why it's happening to you, but it's good for you. Oh, y'all better help me. And it's working together for your good. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. So, it's, he said, so I said, what? You mean to tell me that good for you? That's good to you when it's not good to me? Yes. Come on, son. Come on, somebody help me. And what's good to you is not good for God. Amen. <laughs> Because nine times out of ten, whatever's good to you, <laughs> there's a consequence behind that thing that is good to you. Yeah, right. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, y'all better help me. There's no development behind what's good to you. Ooh. It wind up being messed up for you. Well, y'all better get this thing. I'm going to get into it. I said, when, it, when it's normally good to you, see, bacon, ch- bacon cheeseburgers was good to me. Oh, y'all better help me up in this place. Let me tell on me, because y'all, y'all ain't going to, y'all going to look like, uh, y'all going to look like you doing all right. Y'all going to look dignified. Yeah, you race but I'm going to tell on me, a bacon cheeseburger is good to me. Come on, somebody. But not good for me. Come on, somebody. So while I'm feeding my flesh with that burger, come on, that bacon burger, I'm starting to get a little big around my waist. And it's good to me, but I don't realize it's bad for me. Y'all better help me. And then all of a sudden, I got to go to the doctor. I got high blood pressure. I
great one why. It look real good. The knowledge of God said, I don't say the tree of life. Man, why y'all not review me? Correct me. Man, I'm, everybody, everybody, come to the altar. Somebody help me out up in here. The tree of the knowledge of, thank you, Elder Paul. I bet brother always on me. Thank you. Thank you. For, see, I love that. Thank you. Come on. The tree of knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Look good to her. It looked good. But she didn't know what came behind Adam. And Eve did not know the consequences. God told him, and when you eat it, you shall surely die. But boy, I wonder if they really knew the corruption they were about to cause to do something that was good to them. So I, I wonder if they knew that what she was looking at was good to her. Boy, I'm bored. This is good stuff already. I wonder if she knew that what was good to her was going to affect her whole generation. Was going to affect lineage after lineage after lineage after lineage after lineage until the fullness of time. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Ha, ha. Come on, somebody. Until Jesus had to come. Watch this. I wonder if Adam knew that. It's good to me. And God said, it's not good for you. Oh, come on, somebody. God said, I'm going to show you how I operate. Because everything that's good is not God unless it's God, then it's good. Come on, somebody. And God is the one that determines if it's good. He said, is that good to you? Oh, yeah, that's not good. See, because the devil operates in what's good to you. Woo, somebody. He's a spe he specialized in what's good to you. Smoke a joint. <laughs> Is it good to you? Oh yeah. Smoke another one. I'm telling you, don't, 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 don't. Oh y'all don't look at me funny. <laughs>
You wake up in the ICU. Come on, sir. How did I get here doing what's good to you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Y'all better help me. And God said, no. That's what the enemy wants to do. See, God, let me, can I say something? I've lost 20 pounds in the last month. Amen. And I'll keep going. Amen. You know what the Lord told me? Tell you what he told me. I ain't kind of trying to, I'm just me. You deal with how you deal with you. He came at me like this. He said, you're an example to the people. Mm -hmm. yes, I don't want you looking bound in no kind of way. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Some people got issues, some people can't go. I got them. I don't have an issue. I had an eating issue. Amen. Somebody help me. That's my problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. God said, oh, no, you bound. I don't like that. That's right. That's and you look bound. Mm -hmm. Get on that bike and start rolling. Somebody. Y'all better help me. I'm on a mission. I'm possible. Man, you looking good, no, I ain't. Ain't where I want to be. Ain't where God want me to be. He don't want me looking bad. Why? Because what's good to you, son, is not good for you. God said, watch this. He said, son, you know what you're doing? You are putting limits on me. You can't get loose like I want you to. Why? Because you're bound by something. Woo! Boy, y'all better help me. Come on. Come on. He said, he said son, use you the way I want to use you. Why? Because you get to breathe and heavy. You think you about to pass out. And, I, and you keep, ain't no the Holy Ghost don't get tired. Y'all better help me. God said, I want you fit to meet for the master's use. I want to be able to use you. So you need to get on that bike and get some wind. God said, because you will be preaching conferences, revivals, you got to be ready to do what I told you to do. And you don't need to be bound by nothing, son. And what's good to you is bad. Somebody help me. What's good to you is not good for you. And God said, I can't use you like that. He said, son, not only do I want you to get fit, and boy, I feel good. I got up this morning and did a 14 piece. I feel good. But he said, not only do I want you to look good and be fit for the master's use. I want to be able to use you. Come on, somebody. I don't want you to be winded, tired. He said, but not only, I want you to have a quality of life. I want you to be able to play with your grandsons. Because you can live long and have a miserable life. But God said, I want you to have a quality of life. Yes, amen. Amen. Somebody help me. It's quiet up in here. It's quiet up in here. See, why? It's God dealing with some of y'all right now. He challenging you. Uh, he challenging you. Man, I don't like eating chicken and broccoli. I put a little something on it to make it taste good. Come on, somebody. But God said, man, Lord. He said, no, this is, he's smiling. This is good. Right. And I'm, <laughs> Timmy over there, John A. John A. <laughs> Come on, somebody. My son, he eat like me now. He said, man, daddy, I'm, he done dropped down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But my daughter sitting over there. And I'm, we just, I'm looking at him, Lord, that person. Lord. <laughs> Lord. And he's smiling, yeah, and I'm suffering. <laughs> he said, now, this good. This good. Because you're learning to be disciplined. You're, you're, you're learning temperance, self-control. <laughs> Somebody help me. I want to go somewhere. Watch this. I want to show you something. What's good? Is this all right? Yes. What's good? To you? 
is not good for you. But what's God is good. Woo, so, oh, y'all can run with that. I said, what's God? I'm going to show you something. Come with me to Isaiah, popular scripture, Isaiah 53. It's so much time there, I ain't even get, I ain't even read nothing. I ain't even get the way I. Is this helping anybody? Amen. It's good to me. It's good to me. You know, I, I heard a. I heard this brother said, talk to this one brother, and it was the other brother. Him and his wife, they got he got married. See, that's why the Lord. See, you know, we look in the Old Testament. And, and when you study, you, you know why God, you know, we're not under the law. Everything is blessed. I pray over what you eat. You're blessed. It said it's, it's, it's accepted. But, you know, God gave diet, dietary laws. And they really do. I mean, I mean, if you look at the stuff we eat, I mean, even the, the hog, that's a nasty animal. You understand what I'm saying? God don't do nothing. If he does everything with purpose. No, and no, that, no, wait, 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 wait. No, let me. I'm going to eat me some sausages. And eggs. I'm just trying to make a point. And hey, God ain't gave me that revelation. Come on, somebody. Amen. Ain't none of that. We free in Christ. And brother, I, I have never had this sausage and biscuits. Come on, man. What I'm trying to say is, God does things for a reason. Are y'all with me? He, he lays it out for a reason. And what is what and sometimes what it seems like it's bad is God. That's why you got to love God because bad things are coming. That's why this is gonna apply to everybody because some bad things are gonna happen. And if you don't love God, then them bad things ain't working together for you. Right. Come on. Somebody help me. Yeah. But if you love God, you can still be doing things good to you and it's working together for you. Right. Ooh, wee. I, 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 I ain't lose you on that one, did I? I said, I said, if you love God, you still can love God and do things that's good to you. Come on, somebody. And come on, and the thing that you're going doing good to you will get you in line with God. Yes, come on, somebody. Yes, Why? Because you love God. That's a something. Yes, come on, somebody. That that goes into all things. Yes, come on, somebody help me. Because yes, me eating the way I was eating caused me. Man, I'm feeling. Hey. God said, it's, you, "Son, your blood pressure high. You're dizzy because you, 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 that's why you're dizzy like that." See, when you go to your father, he'll check you. Amen. It says in everything, you can go to him, lean out to your own understanding in all your ways. Go to him about everything. You might not like what you get. Come on, somebody. But he definitely going to set you straight. Amen. Now, when he sets you straight, it's going to cause you to suffer some. So, but it's good. Football team, come on. My, my son now. We killing them boys. <laughs> Up downs. Y'all brothers know about that, don't you? Up downs. Six inches. Open. Pose them. Twelve inches. Up down. We go y'all gonna do up down. Throwing up, they throwing up. We getting them boys ready for high school. Ain't no more. Ain't no more. Pee-wee, mighty, mighty flag. <laughs> no, y'all brothers, next step is boy up. Up downs. What kids this is gonna separate. Y'all, this is going to separate the football players and the whiners. Ain't no more peewee. Come here, little Billy. Let me tie your shoe. I'll go over there and t No, up, down, up, down, up, down. Six inches. Crunches. I mean, sprints. Come on. Ten yards. Back to 20 yards. Oh, y'all ain't running fast enough? Back to 30 yards. Come on. If you ain't running fast enough, we're going to 40 yards. You better dig. Come on, somebody. Dig, dig, dig. It ain't throwing up. Throw up and get back in here. Come on, somebody. Y'all better. Win 
in the first quarter. You don't win football games Come in on. the first quarter. That's right. That's right. When we get to that fourth quarter, Come on. Yes, sir. we want to see that other team right. breathing, right. breathing while y'all still running like it's the first quarter. Yes, you might not like it now. Yes. But boy, when you look back, whoo, when you holding up that state championship, y'all got to help you. Amen. When you look back at the hell it took to horse that trophy, to wear that patch, come on somebody, state champions. You gonna look back and say, that wasn't good to me. Woo! But it was good for me. And look at the result of my struggle and my pain. Y'all better help me up in this place. Come on, somebody give God praise. Watch this. I'm going to show you how it's good to God. This is the kind of God we serve. Watch this. Are we in Isaiah 53? Amen. Who have believed our report? Until whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Y'all with me? For he shall grow up. This is talking about Jesus. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He have no comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Y'all see that? Amen. Can I give you a little revelation? That was the tree of life that was in the garden. That represents Christ. Because they said there was no beauty in him. Come on, he was uncommon to look upon. The tree of life was in the garden. The tree of knowledge of good and evil represents the world. Jesus don't look good right now. Said he wasn't good to look upon, but he was life eternal. How come Adam and them didn't, God didn't put limits on them. God didn't tell, only thing he said, don't touch that tree. He didn't tell them not to touch the tree of life. They could have partook in that. But it didn't look good. If they knew what that tree, come on somebody. Don't you think if they knew what that tree offered, they would have been out of it. It don't take nothing. Amen. But they looked at the tree that God prohibited them to touch. Just the way we do right now. We look at the world. It looks good. But it's not good for you. Oh, y'all better help me. Watch this. Watch this. Say he was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Y'all see this? And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and he was and we esteemed him not. Surely he have borne our griefs. Y'all see that? And carried what? Our sorrows. Yet did we esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. He was wounded for our what? He was bruised for our what? The chastisement of our what? Was what? And with his stripes we are what? All we like sheep going astray. We, we have turned everyone to his own way. The Lord have laid on him what? Who laid it on him? He was what? He was what? Yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the what? And as a sheep before the who? He is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from what? And from what? And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out the land of the where? For the what? Of the who? Which he what? And he made his grave with who? And the rich in his what? Because he had done no what? Neither was there what? Yet it pleased God to what? It pleased the Lord to do that to Jesus. 
God, God was pleased to do that. He delighted in Jesus being wounded. I asked the Lord about that a long time ago, y'all. See, I like to talk to God. Wait a minute. I was good with all that he was pulling me for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just tapped our peace was upon him. But wait a minute, it pleased you? Come on, sir. It pleased you to do that? How? And God said, this is how he deal with us, Brother Terry. It pleased him to do that to you. Woo. He pleased, it, he, it pleased God to do that to you. I said, Lord, why? He said, why you focusing on he was wounded? I'm focusing on the transgression. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You looking at the bruise, I'm dealing with the iniquity. Oh, man, y'all, y'all. You looking at the chastisement. I'm looking at the peace you about to have. Come on, y'all, 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 y'all better help me. Y'all better help me up in this place. He said, you focusing on the what's not good to him. See, it wasn't good to Jesus because he was in the garden of Yosemite. He said, Lord, if this possible, is there any way, is there any other way, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. I don't want to go to the cross. That's not good to me. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done because I know it's working together for my good according to your purpose in me. Somebody help me up in this place. Hallelujah. He said, I'm not looking at that. It pleased me. Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. Come on, sir. Why? Because he was in flesh. And he had to learn obedience just like you do. Y'all gonna help me? The Bible said he became poor. He didn't, it wasn't good to him to leave the third heavens. Come on, somebody. Paul said, I was caught up in the third heavens, the paradise of God. It did not move Jesus. Jesus did to leave the third heavens and come down and suffer for you. But it pleased the Father to send the Son. He became poor that you can become rich. He left his throne. He left glory and came down and was bruised for your iniquity. The chastisement of his peace, our peace, was upon him. He was wounded for your transgression. And the Bible says, with his the beating that he took for you, the beatings that he took and bled and died, he did it so you can be healed. Oh, somebody need to give God praise up to this place. Come on, somebody. Come on. And every time he was getting water, I can see the Father hit him again, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Hit him again. Put the crown of thorns on his head because my people will be delivered in their thinking. They'll be delivered in their mind. Keep beating them. 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 That's for you. Every strike. I saw you cry. 
Every time I saw you hurting, every time I saw you in pain, I was pleased. Yeah, yeah. And every Sunday, you got right back in that pulpit. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put a little bit of pressure on Oh, yeah. And I'm crying, crying. Lord, take it away. Get it out of my cup. No, I'm pleased. Keep preaching, keep teaching, keep preaching. I rejoice in my infirmities. I rejoice in my infirmities. Because when I'm weak, it may not be good to me. I prayed, and the Lord would remove this thing. I prayed three times, and Jesus said, My grace is sufficient enough for you. Ah, but in your weakness, I am made. And Paul turns around and says, I'd rather rejoice. I might as well not mope. I might as well not throw a pity party. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait till the battle's over. I'm not going to wait till the battle's over. I'm going to start shouting right now.
Lord. When you gonna let up off me? I ain't letting up. You ain't broken yet. You ain't broken. You ain't broken yet. You're not broken yet. It might take you losing everything. But I want you down here. It's pleasing. It's pleasing to me. It's pleasing to me. But you're down here. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. One more piece of scripture. I'm done. I'm done. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah, that's the Lord. Come on. It took me, Brother Todd, to go through all my hell to understand my God. Jesus. To understand my God. To understand. This real. And God is almost, I want to say this. I ain't no feminine brother. But you a man, you the bride of Christ. The church is the bride of Christ. Let me tell you something. He loves us like a husband should love his wife. Let me tell you something. He, God woos you. He gets you into relationship with him. He gets you to fall in love with him. Fall in love with him. Why? Because, see, let me tell you something. There wasn't a man on this earth with two hands and two legs I was afraid of. A man just like me. But when I met God, when I met God, fear came on me. I said, this is bigger than a human being. This is bigger than flesh and blood. This real. And when I came into relationship with him, Brother Temperance, he wooed me. And then he began to prank me. But when, what I love about God, see when he woo you and break you, you get that Joseph, you get that, you get that Jacob type spirit. You wrestle with him, but you won't let him go. You won't let him go. And he goes on, he knows you love him. He turns around and say, let me go. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all better help me up in this place. See, he, he loves you so much, and he know you love him so much that he puts you to the test and say, let me go, let me go. And then you turn around and say, I'm not letting you go to you. Bless me. I'm gonna hold on to God's unchanging hand. I'm gonna hold on. And God said, blessed are thou for holding on. You prevail with God and man. God has, God changed his name. Because he didn't let go. And God is ready to change some of you. Amen. Jacob didn't walk the same after he held on. He held on. Holding on changed his walk. I said holding on changed his walk. Holding on changed the way he saw things. Holding on broke him. Hold on, y'all better help me. God said I want to break you. Hold on. Jacob said, no! You all I got. You done deliver me out of too much. I don't want the world. Ain't nothing back there for me. Yeah, this don't feel good, but I ain't letting you go. I'm in too deep now, man. I'm holding on to your unchanging hand. I'm gonna wait till my change come. I know my Still partying, still clubbing. What a waste, brother. Come on. 
on this side. You'll never get, you get tired of that, man. Come on, somebody. You can't, come on, somebody. You'll get tired of women. You'll get, I've been there. Come on, somebody. But this right here, you'll never get tired of doing this. If you let go and let God. Because God is in the breaking business. This ain't, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. When you're doing this, you got to steady be at the flow, at the feet of Jesus. When you're doing this. And God said, I'm telling you today, let me go. Thank you, Father. He said, Jacob, I'm not twisting your arm to hold on to me. Woo! Woo. Let me go, Jacob. No! 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 I ain't letting you go until you bless me. And he touched him. Woo! It took a touch to change it. I said it took a touch to change it. Come on. I said it took some of you just need a touch. Some of you need a touch. It'll change. See, see, up here I see things different. But if I'm I don't look at you the same way. I don't see you the same way. Well, I got touched. Come on. I got changed. I know what I used to do. I know what I used to say. But when he when he wooed me, he, he, I fell in love with him. Then he turns around and tells me to let him go. But he got me now. The love of God constrains me. Amen. I'm not letting you go. I'm going to hold on. Come on, somebody. And God says, son, see, I can preach about this because I'm the one that held on. When he said, let go, let go. What's keeping you preaching? What's keeping you doing what you're doing? Let go. All things look bad in your life. Why are you still doing what you're doing? You wooed me. You set me up, Lord. I love you so much. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. You don't have to, but me holding on to you, blessings come with you. Woo! Change me. Boy, I know this has been heavy, but let me tell you something. He said it's good for you. Would I break you? Because I chasten those I love. I chastise those I love. He said, those that are without chastisement. He said, if I love you, I'm going to chastise. That's what the scripture says in Hebrews. Despise not the chastening of the Lord. Proverbs 3. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastised. And he deal with you as a father to a son. But if you be without chastisement, are ye not bastards? That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. If you without chastisement, it said the word bastard, fatherless. He said, but if I chastise you, I love you. Because you, see what's this? God loved you enough to save you and he loved you enough to not to keep you that way. The way you was. He want to change you when he saved you. And it takes chastisement to develop you. Chastising disciplines. When your kids do something and you lay it on them, guess what? They ain't going to do it no more. They going to think about it next time. Come. And the reason why our world is in the way it is because the this world system says if you beat your child, it's child abuse. And the vibe, contrary to the word, spare the rod, spoil the child. And you got all these spoiled little brats running around here. Oh, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to hear, y'all don't want to hear. That. Come on, somebody. Seen a little boy in in. Uh, Peter Piper. I mean, what's the other one? The little five dollar pizza. Little, little Caesar. 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 Going off on his mama. 
like he was broke. I mean, this boy had to be about three or four years old. Shut up! You don't tell me, shut your mouth. Shut up, and I'm talk to him. <laughs> Everybody's in there with me. All the men. Shut up! Stop, Billy. Billy, stop. He's hitting her and she telling him to stop. I said, just let me have, ma'am, you he don't even have to spend the night. <laughs> let me take little Billy in that bathroom and he'll come out saying, sorry, mommy, mommy, oh, I love you, mommy, and God is good, mommy. Oh, <laughs> Somebody help me. Just five minutes. He said, see, I'm done. I'm done, y'all. He said, he deal with you as a son to a father. See, because a mother, she does the nourishment. Some mothers have to try to take both roles. They can't be, they can't. They can't, you, you can't be a man. It's not in you. Somebody help me. I'm just being real. See, one thing you're gonna get from this past is real too. You can't be me. You can't be Brother Terrence. And I can't be you. Boy, when I, when I got my, my nephew, boy, I lost my mind and going for Evangelist Brown. Ah! <laughs> Somebody help me. I love that right there. But I can't do what a woman can do. But God says father, not mother. He deals with them as a father to a son. The father brings discipline in the child's life. It's not the mother's fault that the sorry fathers is Amen. It's not the mother's fault that the father's not doing what they're supposed to do. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. But it's the father that brings structure, yes. discipline to that child. Yes. That's why what's, what's, what, what we did yesterday, even with the, the young men, yes. it was so anointed. It was anointed. Yes. It wasn't just something the men was doing. It was anointed. And, and, and these boys changed because they were around me. Start again. Little Demar Demarius got a butterfly on him. Ah! Ah! Charles said, boy, stop all that hollering, boy. You act like the devil coming or something. You act like you see the devil or something. Elder Johnny on the left because he ain't going to get him. <laughs> but he laughed so hard. Excuse me, Pastor. So he made me remind him. He boy, stop all that house. <laughs> and all the man, he. <laughs> did it, did it? Yeah. <laughs> the Marius. What's your other son's name? Deontay. Deontay put a worm on me! <laughs> Slapped it right up the back of my head! Boy, stop all that crap! Just a worm! Look, boy! I'm <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Little Alex. <laughs> Got out of the car crying. Hey, what you crying about? It'll be all right. Let's go, come on. Get out there. 
Y'all know how deep it is. <laughs> I'm telling on everybody. Brothers, I'm, glad, I'm giving you the report. I'm the teller tale. <laughs> but I'm watching. And God dealt with me what deep did. And he said, God said, that's what they need. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He said, boy, come on, let me put the word on you. He said something out of, out of pocket to me. Hey, boy. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. I'm a grown man. <laughs> and when you talking to me, you, talk, you say, yes, sir, no, sir, I'm grown. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that brother. Oh, yeah, brother John. Now, watch this. Little Alex was the one. We got revelation out of this thing. I'm done. Is this all right? Little Alex was the one. Oh, man, just give him a little fire. Get here, man. Just throw it in there. Now, watch this. This is the father's heart. Elder Johnny comes spend time with him. They out there casting together. Elder Johnny said, let me. Pass I ain't, I ain't. What do justification <laughs> look like to you? We walking up. Are you a fish for all now? I throw fish in grease. That's all I do. I ain't gonna do all that work. I can't, I can't, it's too much work. I don't need that. I just need to throw it in grease. Amen. Let's go. Hey, and then so we get over there. I guess, see, Alice didn't know that I knew. Hey, he don't know nothing about fishing. <laughs> but he tried to make it like he knew something about fishing with Alex. Let me show you how. He didn't know I was out of the corner of my eye looking at me. Come on, somebody. See, when you're a pastor, when you oversee a flock, you gotta know how to talk to a brother and see over there, too. <laughs> so I'm over there, you know, over here like this. Yeah. And I'm looking at that brother. That brother got the rock. <laughs> look, 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 Alex, look, check it out. <laughs> and not only did the pole go, he almost did. Bro, she wanted us almost found you. I said, you gonna take Alex with you? So, <laughs> Yeah, I saw you, brother. I saw you. And you asked your whole pastor to see that. Yeah, I saw you. I saw all of that. Oh, oh, Here little Alex get back to fishing. Uh. Alex got probably the smallest pole out there. Oh, bitty. A little bitty. A little bitty. Just a. That's a Sister Raquel pole. <laughs> so she go, Sister Raquel will go get something anyway. Something Sister Raquel found. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Elder Paul, look at man, there ain't nothing over here. Water shallow, folks swimming, hey, we ain't catching nothing. Thomas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing going down out here, man. <laughs> Talking about, oh yeah, bro, we just trying to help the kids out, bro. You know, we try to, we gotta teach them how to throw D and T. Hey, just break the pole. Bro. Don't be wasting all my words. <laughs> Save the yard, man. Break the worm in half, man. You ain't gotta throw the whole worm in there, man. D and D. Tell them, Paul, we ain't catching nothing. Timmy and Caleb, can we go somewhere else? There ain't nothing going on over here. <laughs> them two years, little faith. <laughs> then they even manipulated and influenced me to say, man, ain't nothing going on right now. Ain't nothing going on over here. <laughs> ain't nothing going on over here. <laughs> and Brother Dwayne didn't even bother to come with us. He just gave us some poles. Yeah, man. <laughs> Somebody, 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 I'm telling on everybody. Deacon 
y'all come out there looking like Panama Jack and now they gonna pan on ain't do one rod no more. Somebody help me up in this place. So we, maybe we can catch it now. Let's go, let's go. And all of a sudden we heard a little boy, I got something, I got something. Boy, you ain't got nothing. What you got? I'm t I got it, I'm t I got it. I was just really. All of a sudden, I see something on a, he done caught a catfish. <laughs> I'm high-fiving, brother, brother Johnny said, come on, take a picture. I said, man, give me a little <laughs> But you know, preacher always get a message out of something. I said, boy, and the one problem must be the least of it. Come on. And my son said, daddy, you think God commanded that catfish to go on that boy hook? I said, yep. I said, he commanded that fish to go on that hook. That, that, because it was a whole bunch of hooks in the water. But God orchestrated that fish to that little bitty boy SpongeBob hook. And he pulled that catfish out the water and God said, I can use you in your weakness. Don't tell me who I can use. Don't tell me who I can use. What you look down on is the very one I can raise up. To use mightily the least. And we high five him, he got confidence. Because he was around men, fathers. And that's what we're going to be to these boys. Somebody say amen. I thank God for the little thing we, we had on my side. Brother, thank God for this. And God showed me that this is what I want you men to do. We're going to plan. Next month, we're going bowling. Amen. But we want to be a part of these boys' life. The next month we go into the movies. But we want to be a part of these boys' lives. You know, it's not them, them young men fault that their fathers left them. But guess what? They got Pastor Till. Come on, they got Brother Terrence. They got an Elder Paul, an Elder McGuire. They got brothers up in here. The ministry is back in these four walls. When you call them God, it's a full time ministry. I told Caleb, my boy, I'm your daddy. But you like me now. I told Ben's bride, if I keep them, you ain't keep them, you, that's your golden child, that's my bride's child. But I love him, like he's my son. And I try to treat him that way. And I stay on him like I stay on Timmy. Don't I? Boy, yeah, boy, you better run that ball. Let me see you dance. I'm going to have you going up, down, so you can't see it. <laughs> man, so you best break. Man, leave my boy, man. I'm about to that mess. Because all the mother know how to do. Oh, get, get out of here. Nobody I got him. I love him just like you do. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We love your sons just like you do. Because yeah. we have the love of God in us. We love them just like you love them. And we want the best for them. And they'll come back and thank us one day. Man, thank you. When they become grown like we are, thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for, for spending time with me. Come on, give God praise.